and welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Labor Day baseball coming up on the show. It's the Baltimore Orioles going up against the New York Yankees. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set. And on the mound today, Garrett Cole. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Yeah, his batting average against is actually better when he's in a jam. So we'll see if he continues to dance his way out of danger. So up next, number 64. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on. Oh, the throw is wild. And that keeps his hitting streak going. He's making this look way easier than it is, Boog. Setting the record is hard at all, but to keep upping it every day like he is, I don't really... Man, it's second with one away. And here's the first baseman, number 64. Number 64. Liner caught it second. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now here's the Yankees cleanup hitter, number 64. The first baseman, number 64. Rodriguez back to work. On the ground, right side. Has some trouble with it, but the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first out. Fastball groove right down the middle, usually a lot of damage. Number 64 stepping in now for the Yankees. Base knock right field. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to short... And stepping in for the Yankees, number 64. Hey, let her rip right here. With this kind of lead, he can number swing 64. freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what hey, he loves right to do. One time. That one ripped. Come on, Bob. Get out of here. Get That's out of here. back. And that one is out of here. A solo shot. His latest homer in an incredible season. It's 12-5. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side is a hitter. It's a great time. To win number 116, tying the single season record of the 2001 Seattle Mariners. Wow, what a blast from the past. Thinking about Ichiro Suzuki in his rookie year. Just took the league by storm. Well, this team, exciting team, and they have taken the league by storm. 12-5 is your final for Chris Singleton. Welcome in, baseball fans, and here in New York, the show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the New York Yankees. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Coming up on the first pitch, and today's starting pitcher, Frankie Montas. A very forgettable start his last time out. Was only able to work a couple of innings. We're looking for him to put it all together today. Command, tempo, and just really a confident presence out there on the mound. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's a big power threat. Number 64. Come on. 
Means back to work. Line drive. Mullins racing over to make the catch. Number 64 stepping in now for the Yankees. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. And that keeps his hitting streak going. He's making this look way easier than it is. So two away with nobody on. Stepping in the long ball threat, number 64. Line drive, base hit. That's a great A-B out of you, kid. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. This is Charlie Culberson to hit. The bat, number 10. Shortstop, Charlie Culberson. Ground ball to first, could be two. And he takes it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him. And now the first baseman, number 64. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hey, hits for rip. contact, so he delivers average. But there's on base and slugging, too. Swung on, belted. Oh, get out of here. Get out of That's here. back. And it is gone. He leaves the yard to right, and they add to their lead. It's 9-3. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, Runners on the corners with one gone. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. Cedric Mullins. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Up the middle. That's a base hit. Run scores. Throw into third. And he's in there. And a run comes in to score. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there was just no one there to knock it down. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll Number 64 will hit next. No matter what, when you're playing this kind of rival. Take your game to another level. Get your pitch. Into the dive, and he got it. In a one-run game as this one ends 10-9. A one-run extra inning win for Chris. Welcome, thanks for joining us. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the Baltimore Orioles taking on the New York Yankees. First pitch coming at you right after the break. That's just Just about to get underway on the hill here today, Nestor Cortez Jr. What's the scouting report on him? Boogie pitched into the seventh, earned the W in his last start. He really needed that one. Well, this team needs another one today. We'll see if he can carry that performance into this game. And up next for New York, number 64. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. Here we go. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Hit high in the air. There it goes. 
Cena. That one felt good. His latest homer in an incredible season. And that gives him a lead. It's 3-0. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient and waited for it. It was like BP all over again. Number 64, the next to hit. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Hit on the ground, might be two. Takes it himself for one. On a Mount Castle. It's a double play. Good 6-3 double play right there. Takes it himself. And it's a nice job to work closer to getting out of this inning. Ramon Urias, the next to hit for the Orioles. The batter, number 29. The 0-1. Tap to first. Steps on first for the out. Nice warm day here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. One out, base is empty. Number 64, stepping in now for the Yankees. Hey, like you can up there, kid, huh? Liner, base hit. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Number 64, stepping in now for the Yankees. The bat, number 64. Hard ground ball, base stop. Hicks, around third. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. And they're pulling away up by seven now. Well done. Drives in the run. That ball was drilled. 106 off the bat. And that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. And now it's going to be Robert Newstrom. Up next for the Orioles, the center fielder, Robert Newstrom. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. And he handles it himself for the out. Now that right fielder. Orioles down to their final out. Now, Anthony Santander. Here we go, guys. Let's go. And here it comes. And that one hit to first. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. Oh, a really nice three-game home series sweep. They came out and, you know, from the first game of this series, really had a determination to, to play fundamentally sound baseball. They came up with the big hit when they needed it. Pitchers came in. They got the big outs when they needed it. So all the way around, a uh, collective effort that has produced a nice little series sweep. And a second.